All right, Lions, Brian, I'm done with the golf stuff, dude, because golf's going to be the quarterback tomorrow night at 8.15 when the ball goes in the air and the world's watching and it's a primetime Saturday flex game. Prime time. And, yes, even though I was told, Big Mike Gentry, the Lions were mathematically eliminated from the playoffs with their loss last week. I was told that in this chat, who, by the who way. Who said that? And th- well, that was the that was the you know that was the indication Nobody I got. Nobody said that. They were mathematically eliminated. <laughs> I thought. Nobody said that. Who said that? That was the that was the vibe I got from the people. Oh, you just that got it was that over. vibe. Yeah. No, they were just being fans. They, they um, but fans. Lindsay, the moral of the story is this: if they beat the Broncos and a couple of things happen, they clinch a playoff spot. They'll be fine, man. I don't know where everybody's All right. got their panties in a bunch. Again, I want to do the Lions-Broncos thing. Let's do it. But let's go back to this for a minute then. <laughs> All right? Let's go back to this. Help me understand this. I've had a – you know, I dealt with some, with some family issues. I had, I, you know, I had a couple of days of reflection and thinking about life and stuff like that. Right. What, how is this going to end up with the Lions? They're probably going to be the division champion. They will be the division champion. They're probably going to be the three seed. They will be the three seed. More than likely. What's different? What, 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 is, what is so outlandish that it's over, that we need to shut this down, that they need to bench the quarterback, that, that the team sucks, that Brad Holmes sucks? That the, what, what's different? For real, See, Lindsay, as we're staring it in the face. The only, the only thing that is different is the fact that the lines are winning and people here are so conditioned to the worst. So when something bad happens, they go back to harping on the worst that could happen. Oh, we don't have our our quarterbacks not good enough. Well, you know what? You're fighting for a division. You're going to win the division. What what do you mean you're not good enough? Oh, well, you know, we can't do it. Well, you haven't done this in years, so just sit back and enjoy the ride. Stop harping on how garbage you were years ago. Stop harping on the fact that same old Lions. You, you keep hearing that come up when something bad happens. This is a long season. There are four games left. Four games left, and all of them are winnable. So if the Lions go ahead and, you know, go three and one, it's not the end of the world. It's not the end. It, it's, it's a beginning of something new, something fresh. Playoffs, home playoff game. When is the last time that's happened? Since the 90s, since <laughs> Boys to Men was singing Motown Philly. <laughs> so enjoy it, embrace it. Back in school, we used to dream about this every day. <laughs> so the fans are so conditioned, and I see it. I see it all the time when something happens. So that's what this is. And this, yes. why I, this is why I'm talking to the people right now. I, wa- I want to know where, because what's different? Because, look, I know how we get now. I, like the Thanksgiving Day thing, I think I had a pretty good feel for what the deal was. Right. We all were together with our families. We had the day off work. It was going to be this big grandiose thing. And because they lost, we got something taken away from us. That's what that was. Make no mistake about that. That had nothing right. to do with football. That had to be with where we are as a society right there. Something, got t- something we expected to get, we didn't get. Right. So we pouted about it. Right. And we threw a fit about it. Right. Am I, you think I'm warm with that or no? Yes. I'm probably pretty warm yes. right there. Yes. But anyway. I'm not here to give my, my take on society right now. <laughs> I, 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 Lindsay, I just want to know where, where the disconnect with reality happened. Well, because this is a new reality. And when you have a new reality, I don't think people have totally bought. Lindsay, they're 17-6 and six in their last 23 NFL games, man. Yeah, but nobody's looking at that. They're looking at right now. They're looking at what just happened. So they're not looking at data. Not, not the old data. They're looking at this year's data. And the last information that was processed in the computer was we lost to the Bears. Okay. And that is like groundbreaking for the Lions fans. They, let me, what if I said another way? What if I said they lost a division game on the road? Doesn't matter. They... If we didn't know any better, we would have thought that game was at home, the way our fans were acting. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so, so that's what it is. Uh, Steve DeYoung, a primetime game that most of Michigan will not be able to watch because of broadcast rights. What do you mean, Steve? <laughs> broadcast rights are, I don't know what Isn't that, about. it's on Fox in the Detroit area, right? Isn't that <laughs> like a majority of Michigan? I would think it was. Right? 
it's a NFL Network and Fox here locally. So, and you know what, too? I'm kind of tired, too, with that, like, that whole peacock crowd, that whole streaming crowd. If it's important to you, you'll buy it. Right. If it's not, you won't. Matt Vert, what is this? Matt Veryville says, we're looking at the data for turnovers. You know, the way you win and lose games. I saw, you know what else I saw from Matt Vervelli? <laughs> over, under on golf turnovers, two and a half. <laughs> Anything you want, I'll take the under on that. <laughs> Anything you want, Matt. See, but you get things like that because, you know. That's stupid, dude. Prisoners of, prisoners of the moment. Yeah. That's what I call it. Prisoners okay. of the moment. I'm just, I'm trying to understand. That's, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm trying to understand what, what's different than what we were promised versus what we're getting. Are we getting, are we not getting I, I, what we were promised? You know, I'm going to tell you what's different. What? Expectations. Expectations are different now because now we have a viable product on the field that is actually worth something. Now the goalposts are starting to move now. Oh, um, we're eight and three or you know, golf is not good enough. We, we, sh- we shouldn't, we should be expecting this. We should be expecting that. Well, if, and we keep going back to this. If we told you before the season started, and don't look at any st- stats or anything, the Lions would be 8-3 and three right now. How many people would take it? Everybody would take Everybody it. Everybody would take it. But now that taste is success, the expectations have grown a, a, a bit more faster than I think the process should have, you know, what we're looking at. Because I don't think anybody, nobody in the beginning of the season but me was talking about the Lions being Super Bowl contenders. I'm the only one that said that word. Everybody else was looking at me like, Lindsey's trolling. But now that the expectations seem a bit reachable, everybody's looking at now, oh, we need an elite quarterback. We need Patrick Mahomes. We need a guy that can move in a pocket. We need a guy that can create when things aren't perfect. Then you're disconnected from reality then. But that's moving the goalpost. Uh, WilbertSports.com chat thread. Steve DeYoung, the game will be on the NFL Network and not on Fox. Well, and then uh, Neil speaking like a guy with two furnaces. Uh, well, here, guys, <laughs> here, for, for, the, for the complaining crowd about that, here, per the Detroit Lions, by the way, uh, per the Detroit Lions, Saturday night Lions-Broncos game will be broadcast nationwide on the NFL Network. For those in the Detroit market, the game will also be available on Fox <laughs> Linear Television. You know, WJBK, Channel 2, 234, and HD on Xfinity. Come on, guys. Do some investigation, man. <laughs>